It is now my pleasure to introduce the 2021 NASCAR Cup Series champion, Kyle Larson. Thank you. Thanks, Mal. This is uh, this is awesome. Um, I'm gonna try not to get too emotional. Um, the older I get, the more I turn into my dad and, and cry a lot. So uh, here we go. Um, I'm humbled to be standing up in front of many of my heroes, friends, and family tonight. As many of you know, my journey the last year and a half to get to this stage hasn't been easy. I want to begin by thanking my best friend and biggest supporter, my wife, Caitlin. Last April, <laughs> last April, we didn't know where our lives were headed, but as always, you kept the family strong as we packed up in the motorhome and hit the road for months at a time, track to track, with our crazy children while we tried to figure things out. <laughs> I hear Audrey over there. <laughs> I didn't know it in the moment, but those hard times made me a better person and made us a stronger family. I'm lucky to spend this life with you, Caitlin. Even though I'm not sure how I feel about you stealing the thunder in Victory Lane while you shotgun your beers. <laughs> Speaking of, can we get this girl a beer sponsorship yet? <laughs> Rick Hendrick, I'm so grateful to have you in my life. I don't normally feel too much pressure, but I'll be honest. When I had heard that you had faith in me to bring back the number five with your son's paint scheme, I was extremely nervous but proud in the same moment. That first win we got in Las Vegas was one of our most special wins we were able to get this year. As a father myself, hearing your voice and having you tell me how much it meant to you and Linda brought on a lot of emotions. This year, you've taught me so much about respect and how to treat people. Thank you for that. Jeff Gordon, man, is a five-year-old dressing up for my first day of kindergarten, head to toe in rainbow DuPont 24 gear with a matching backpack I probably didn't think I'd be sharing this stage with you 25 years later as my boss. You are a role model to so many dirt kids from California like myself. You are still that same role model and one of the most humble people I've ever met. I'm so lucky to have you in my corner. I'm fortunate to work with a lot of cruise chiefs throughout the year, with each having something unique to them that makes them great. Cliff Daniels, your leadership skills are unmatched. It's a true honor for me to be a part of what you've, been, of what you've built in this five team. I believe you have assembled one of the greatest teams in this sports history, and I look forward to being a part of it for a long time to come. My parents, Mike and Janet, and my sister Andrea, you guys all sacrificed so much for me to achieve my dream to become a race car driver. It wasn't always easy, but you have stood by me no matter what. I'll never forget those days of us as a family driving north of 99 to Cycling Speedway, jamming out to Led Zeppelin, or on the way home, watching and studying every lap of my childhood racing on my mom's camcorder. Thank you guys so much. I love you. Thanks. None of our accomplishments would have been possible without the support from our great partners at Hendrick Automotive Group. Greg Gock, Gary Davis, Brian Johnson, our hype man Daryl Jackson, and all of the 10,000 teammates at Hendrick Automotive Group. Thank you. A special thanks to Jim Campbell and Mark Royce of Chevrolet, and congratulations on securing the 2021 Manufacturers Championship. I want to also say thanks to Valvoline, Tom and Tommy Tarleton, Cincinnati, and everyone at Pro Sport Management. My five guys, you're all the best. Your performance throughout the whole year was amazing, but that execution on Championship Weekend was unbelievable. Thank you guys so much. Uh, thank you guys and gals so much. To everyone at the engine and chassis shop at HMS, your work is greatly appreciated as well. To all the men and women at NASCAR, our broadcast TV partners, and Goodyear, thank you for all you do to make this the greatest racing series in the country. To my fans, you are, the, you are all the most loyal group out there. You may not know it, but you're a huge part of motivating me to deliver my best each and every race. 
I'd like to finish off by taking a moment to recognize a few of the many people who played a big role in helping me achieve my dreams of making it to the NASCAR Cup Series. Dave and Debbie Vertulo, David Abreu, Brent Kading, and everyone at Kading Performance, Keith Coons and Pete Willoughby, Paul Silva, Josh Wise, and lastly, Chip Ganassi. Back in 2012, as a relatively unknown dirt racer from California, I went to North Carolina and met with a lot of the teams in here tonight. I remember feeling defeated as we headed to CGR, expecting the same sort of conversation, but wow, was I wrong. It was a very short and to the point meeting as they usually are with Chip, and I left there less than 20 minutes later, realizing my life was going to change forever. I will always cherish my years on your race team and forever be grateful for the risk you took on a young kid from the West Coast. I wish you all the luck as you continue growing your legacy as one of the best car owners in the world. Good night. Thank you all, and have a Merry Christmas.